A Belgrade funeral home shut down by the state more than a year ago. Families accused them of mishandling deceased loved ones. And now they could be back in business. News Channel 5's Jason Hackett is live at the Palm Beach County Courthouse this evening with what he has found in this case. Jason? Shannon, we were in the courtroom today as one of those families made their plea for justice in a civil case. Now, the state shut down Taylor, Smith, and West last year, saying that they were a danger to the public and they were providing incorrect remains to families. But the family we spoke to today say they're still open for business. She was more than a mother. She was my best friend. Rhonda Mitchell's mother died in 2014. Two years later, her nightmare continues. I have a lot of unanswered questions. It's like I will never have peace. Mitchell went to Taylor, Smith and West in Belglade to have her mother cremated in June of 2014. She claims after four months of getting the runaround, the funeral home finally provided her with a box of ashes. Suspicious, she checked with the crematory, which told Mitchell they never received the body from the funeral home. My mom's body's still out there. I don't know where she's at. This was not the first time a family accused Taylor Smith and West of the unthinkable. News Channel 5 spoke to Tisha Mack in 2014, who claimed she received the wrong ashes after her baby died. I'm thinking that my child is being cremated and all the while his body is still here. In 2015, Janet Grandison says her husband's body wasn't properly embalmed. I want to ask him why. Why did he have to do him like that? The state finally shut down Taylor Smith and West last August, but a trip today to that former business revealed another funeral home in its place. What the owner, Stinson, did, he went and got another funeral director, he uses his license, changes the name, and just continues with the business. The funeral home didn't respond to our request for comment. They chose not to be here. Nor was anybody from the funeral home in court today as a jury awarded a $3.5 million judgment to Mitchell. But she says her mission goes beyond the money. I want them to go to jail. I want them to be closed down and I want everyone that was involved to get locked up. This is not over. It's not. Now, the state confirming what the attorney says that the funeral home transferred the license from another one that they own here in Palm Beach County to that Bell Glade location. Mitchell says the next step is to try to recoup the money from the funeral home. Live in Palm Beach County, Jason Hackett, WPTV News Channel 5.